Okay, today's video is about counting nulls or counting the number of rows in a table that have no value in a particular column. So counting nulls is a basic data profiling question or data profiling is pr pretty much the study of the data you have. And we're trying to find out how many rows have a null in a particular column in a given table. The syntax for that is to use the count aggregation and then provide the column name. And I'm also going to show you a trick on how to generate SQL from SQL. So I'm going to bring up my SQL developer window. So we're going to work with uh, a table named orders. So we're just going to do a plain count from this table. And as you can see, there's 326 rows in this table. And now we want to find out how many rows in the table have a value in the ship date column. So there's 312 that do have a value for ship date in the orders column. So to find out how many rows have a null, we would do the count and then subtract the count of the number of value number of rows that have a value in the column. And as you can see, the count is 14. We could take a look at our table and see that the ship date is null for 14 of the rows. So let's say you want to do this for every column in a table. So you can go to the metadata in any database. This is just the syntax for MySQL that I have here. So we're going to the information schema. We're pulling out all the columns for a table named, for a schema classic models and a table named orders. So this just lists all the columns in the orders table. And if I'd like to generate SQL to get the count for each of these columns, I can go to the information schema columns table and get all the columns and then put in the syntax that I need to generate the SQL. So here you can see it just generates the count construct with a parenthesis and then the column name and then an end parenthesis and then putting a, a comma on the end so I could just take all that out copy and paste into a SQL statement as below. And there you go. So we've got 326 rows in the table. Every one of them has an order number. Every one of them has an order date. Everyone has a required date. Almost all have a ship date. All have a status. Some have co uh, comments and all of them have a customer number. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to submit a video, I have a sample app up at apex.oracle.com. You can see and you can click on the URL in the comments and submit a question. And if I think it's suitable for a video, I'll post it. Thanks, guys.